Hello and welcome to what probably is one of the last big launches here at the 2023 Auto Expo. You know how you get a lot of your learnings from racing? That is exactly what Ultraviolet is trying to focus on. This is not a concept. This is not even a prototype. What I want to talk about is the racing platform that Ultraviolet wants to develop in the near future because what they can do with racing is push a motorcycle or their vehicle to the absolute limit, learn a few things from there and incorporate that in their road going motorcycle. So when we talk about racing, this is a sample of what we can see in the near future. And racing is all about losing weight. So all the unnecessary components have, have gone. No indicators, no headlamp, no mirrors. In fact, a lot of the components are actually replaced by carbon fiber. So the head is carbon fiber, the fork cover, the fender, the belly pan, the panels at the rear. Less weight is obviously going faster, but it's not just aesthetics because there are some changes to the powertrain too. What I can tell you is that this motorcycle is going to make roughly about 65 horses and can manage a top speed of over 200 kilometers per hour. Just for reference, the F77 can do about 150 kilometers per hour. And that's great, right? Because when you are at a racetrack and pushing a motorcycle to its absolute limit, especially in electric, you can actually figure out so much about thermal efficiency, which I think is one of their plans. Of course, components will change in the near future. So hopefully better brake setup, hopefully better suspension, hopefully better tires, and the Pirellis are also great anyway. Okay, talking about the racing bits, there are some clever things that have happened to the F99. For example, let's talk about the aerodynamics package. You see the winglets on the F77, they have been redesigned. This is an air-cooled battery pack. So, these winglets are actually designed in a way where the air is flowing to cool the battery pack. There's also winglets at the rear. This is an introduction to what Ultraviolet can really do with their racing platform. Maybe have races, maybe have a one-make championship in the near future. But there's still a long way to go. This is not going to be road legal. But the things that they learn from this can be incorporated, like I said, in the road-going variant. We'll hear more from them in the near future, sometime around the start of 2024. But what's coming next is our first ride review. That's going to happen later this month. So if you do not want to miss out on that, please stay tuned to Power Drift. Stay subscribed, stay notified. My name is Varun Painter and I will see you later.